ಈ ಪುರುಷಾಯ ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಯಾ ಸತ್ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಜನನಿ ಯಾ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ಪರಶೋ ಯಾ ದೇಶ ಜನಸರ್ವಚಾಂಚ ಐಕ್ಯ ಪ್ರಧಾನೋದ್ಯತ ಯಾ ವೇದೋಪನಿಷದ ಪುರಾಣಿ ಸಾ ಭಾಷಾದ್ಯೂಷದಾ ಸದಾ ವಿಜಯತ ಚಂದ್ರತಾರಾರೂಢ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕೃಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಓಂ ಶುಕ್ಲಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಚಾರಸಾರ ಪರಮಾಧ್ಯಂ ಜಗದ್ವ್ಯಾಪಿ ವೀಣಾ ಪುಸ್ತಕಧಾರಣಿ ಅಭೇದಾಂ ಜಾಡ್ಯಂಧಕಾರ ಪಹಾಂ ಹಸ್ತಿಸ್ಫಾಟಿಕಮಾಲಿಕಾಂ ವಿದಧತಿ ಪದ್ಮಾಸನೆ ಸಂಸ್ಥಿತ ವಂದೇ ತಾಂ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಭಗವತಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿಪ್ರದ ಸಾರದ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ನಮಃ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಅದ್ಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಸತ್ರೆ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ವೇಸಿಕ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಕಕ್ಷಾಂ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯೋ ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತ ವ್ಯಹರಾಮಿ ಅಥ ಅಹಂ ಆಂಗ್ಲಭಾಷಾ ವಕ್ತು ಚೇಷ್ಟಾಮಹೆ ಚೇಷ್ಟಾ ಚೇಷ್ಟಾ ಕರೋಮಿ ಅದ್ಯ ಟುಡೇ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ಸೋಮ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ರಿಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ what i have um tried last time and today i will even try to say you the same thing in different way look i am today with some different instruments so that i can say the thing um, differently am we have last time uh just listen the thing but we have not written uh, but today i will try uh to say the same thing through writing so that i can make even easier for the beginners and that's why i am here with this instrument and let us without any delay let us uh begin let us start with the thing that we have done last time we are going to do uh the sanskrit varna parichaya the basic fundamentals of sanskrit and i have told that last time there are uh two types of varna one is vowel and next is consonant and just to make it even easier to understand let me make a tree of sanskrit varna ha let us say this is a tree and there first of all the varna is divided into two they are swara varnaha swara varna varnaha and uh, they are called vowel v o w e l s vowels to say in english and next is swara and then vyanjana varnaha ವ್ಯಂಜನ ವರ್ಣ ಆಂಡ್ ವ್ಯಂಜನ ವರ್ಣ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದೆ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಓ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಎನ್ ಇ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ 
yes and i have told last time that there are nine types of swara varna ha huh? they are if you like please you go on writing so that uh we can do uh we can begin easily you go on writing please this way this is a e u there is one top line is given there this is top line this is top and over there and u re is like this re then comes ri next is a let me put it down there ri ri a o i this is i and this is i o these nine are the vowel uh, in sanskrit and uh, to say more thing more about this vowel these five are called the short vowels s h o r t they are in english in sanskrit we say rasva swara varna ha rasva meaning s h o r t and these are rasva swara varna ha then these four are dirgha dirgha swara varna ha there is visarga and this is longer l o n g e r longer vowel sounds if we need to say the dirgha swara varna ha then we need to say a o i o they are the longer and these are shorter short vowels a e u r i l r and these are the swara varna ha then again let us move to uh, this vyanjana varna ha and vyanjana varna ha are again divided into five classes basically and they are ku chu tu tu next is pu yes ku chu tu tu pu there are five classes this is ka class ku meaning ka kha ga gha na there are five letters in this ku ku is a class so as this is named this way because uh we can remember it even easily uh by saying ku once we say ku then we need to remember these five letters ku meaning ka kha ga gha na this is the first class uh regarding the benjana varna and then next comes chu chu meaning chu starts from cha 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 ja ja fourth is cha this in the four this cha is even written like a uh, different way like cha is like this also this is variant this is a different form of ja ja maybe a uh, different one so like i have 
written this. These are different form. For example, one may write A like this, A like this, and A like this. Again, these all three are A. So this is Jha. And then next comes Ta. Two meaning Ta. The first letter of Ta class is Ta Barga. Ta. And then next comes Ta. Then comes Ta. Then comes Da. Then Da. Oh, I have from the one. Yes, there are in each class there are five letters. Ka, ka, ga, ga, na. In two cha class there are five letters. Cha, cha, ja, ja, ya. And again in ta class ta, ta, da, da, na. And then in ta class, ta class is. Two, two, two stands for ta class, ta varga, and there uh, the initial letter is ta itself, and the next is ta is the next one, ta, next is da, the next is dha. Da, 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 da. The next, the fifth letter of the ta class is na. And then next comes pa class. There is the first letter is pa. The next is pa. Next one is ba. It is crossed over there. And then pa for ba, then next is bha, next one is ma. These are the five class, ka class, cha class, ta class, ta class, and pa class. In each class, there are five letters. And these letters uh, are consonant. And again, more than these, uh, 25 liters are there. More than these, there are uh, next, uh, ya, ra, la, wa, sha. Sha, this is this sort of sha. Sha, sa, Ha. This is ha. And these are the letters of Sanskrit. Basically, uh, we use these letters. And last class, we have uh, learned the same thing according to the uh, great sages who have given and organized these letters. These letters again comes from the same given by the uh, great sages. We have uh, studied that last time. And this is called first class letters. This is first letter of first class. These are first class letters. Ka, cha, ta, ta, pa. These are the first letters of each class. The first letter of ku, ka class is ka. Cha class is cha, ta class is ta, ta class is ta, pa class is pa. And there's different story there. And ka is the second letter of ka class, ka. And cha is the second letter of cha class. Ta class has Ta as second letter, and then ta is second letter of ta class, and fa is second letter of pa class. And then third letters are ga, ja, da, da, 
व एक्स इज घ झा ढा धा भा एंड देन दे आर दीज आर द जनरल लेटर्स एंड वाई दिस इज पुट दिस वे बिकॉज दे आर ऑर्गनाइज अकॉर्डिंग टू दर्गन्स ऑफ माउथ फ्रॉम हेर दे कम्स आउट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस क क्लास has these letters because they all comes from the same places for example ka if you feel on your own ka kha just feel go on feeling your voice from where the uh, comes out pa ka kha ga gha na they comes from got G U T, so they are called G T T R A L, guttural sound. They comes from our throat. That's why they are called guttural sounds, guttural consonants. Then, two is, ah, uh, two stands for chalk class, and chalk class has got these five letters. Like cha, cha, ja, na. They are called. They comes out from the palate, the roof of mouth. So they are called palate, p a l a t a l, palatal. They are called the palatal consonants, and this is two and two stands for ta clash, and this has got. These letters ta, tha, da, dha, na, and they are they comes out from cerebra, so of mouth, not of brain, but so they are called c e r e b r a l cerebral. A l stands for pertaining to this cerebra. Those letters come from your cerebra. They are called cerebral. Uh, letters comes from palate, are called palatal, and from gut are called guttural. Then again, these two stands for ta varga, ta clash, and they are they they just the tip of tongue just touch on our dents. Tooth and they are uh, called dental. D e n t a l. Dental. <laughs> Look, there is a l a l a l a l for they comes from this dent cerebra respectively. And the next, uh, this is pu stands for pa varga, pa class, and they comes from our labium. Meaning lips, so they are called labial. L a b i a l. Labial consonant sounds are pa, fa, ba, bha, ma. These are labial. And the next, why this ya, ra, la, wa are at the same class? They are called. Um, antastha varna ha huh? they are they have not got any classes but they are called antastha varna ha huh? an tastha antastha ha let us say antastha ha means uh, they comes from inside the mouth uh, the ear coming from inner side just uh, is in our mouth and that's why they are called uh, antastha varna ha antastha meaning semi vowel semi vowel s e m i v o w e l s and they are also sometimes called semi consonant as well 
for they have some qualities of vowels and some qualities of uh, consonants. And next is um, sha sa sa ha. They are called the r yanantastaha then sala ushmanaha. Ushma meaning ush ma anaha. Ush manaha. This is half sha. Ushmanaha. Ushmanaha. And they are sa, sha, sa, ha. Look, each of the sound are just approximately the same, but they comes from different places of mouth. Uh, this sha is, uh, sha comes out from our surface of tongue when we, uh, through the ear coming from inside, uh, throw out from the surface of tongue, then this one sha, this sha is going to come out. Then this sha is when we move our, we just rule on our tongue, then this sha will come out. Then this sha, this one sha is a dental one when we touch uh, with the tip of our tongue at the dents, and then this sa uh, will come out, and then this ha is again at our throat. This is sometimes called guttural sound, and this is called celibians. As I celibi a n t celibians for uh, when we make this sound. The ear coming out is a sort of like just hot. That's why they are called sarsha saha, celibiant sounds. Yes. And there are, there are altogether uh, five times five. These are, there are five classes, and in each class, there are five letters. That's why we say five fives. Uh, it's 25. There are 25 up to ka ma kadayo ma pashanaha sparshaha. There are 25 letters, and including this antastha and ushma varnaha, there are uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Altogether, there are 33 consonants in Sanskrit. Okay, up to now we have uh, discussed there are nine vowels and 33 consonants, 33 consonants sounds. Up to now we have done this. Um, next, there are uh, these letters like sha, tra, ja. There are we very often we use this letter in Sanskrit. So sometimes we uh, find these letters included in the um, general recitation of the letters, uh, but. Uh, there are these letters. These letters are not in Parini Sutrani, Chaturdasa Sutrani, but I need to uh, explain here, I think, because we use very often these three letters. This is basically formed of Ka when there is this. This is a stop. This is a stop. This is stands for. There is no any vowel sound. Vowel sounds are a, e, u, ri. Generally, we take a sound with a ka. And when ka uh, meets with a, then this will uh, give k 
ka with a this ka this full ka so there is ka is ka and a we must understand this ka stands for these two letters the ka is a stop the a is vowel sound so ka i am saying this one how this is uh, composed let us say sha is uh composed is a, it consists of two vowel letters ka and sha let us say there is a stop there is one stop so ka ka and sha combines uh, to make this cha and then this is very often used tra let us put their uh, stop and this is if we um just minutely listen our voice there is uh, there are two letters ta and next is uh, ra this is so we call tra then the next one is gya if we say this gya stop is there and gya is gya consists of two uh, consonant letters look this is ja and nya look again these letters are we have written there for example ka is there there is ka and sha is there next the tra when we talk about tra ta and ra are two uh letters and we can find this there is ta and there is ra these two uh can mix this tra next letter and there is a stop ja ja is made up of ja and ya like ja is there and ya is there look these are the uh general letters basic letters and we need to uh, know some compound letters these are we call these are uh, vinjan varna huh? and next so uh, till now we have discussed the vowel and consonant there are uh, non vowels like a e u r i l r i they are short and a o i o they are longer and vyanjan varna are 33 and uh, there are five classes ka cha ta ta pa kuchu tu tu they are classes Q stands for ka class. Q stands for cha class. Q stands for ta class. Q stands for ta class. P stands for pa class. And in each class, there are five letters. For example, in ka class, there are five letters. The first letter is ka. Second is ka, ga, ga, ng. Each of the class have got five letters. and these are different these are not class these are um varnaha according to the pratyahara pata we may uh, we have recited last time a e u r i l r i k e u m i o s hai varat lani yamangananam jhavai ghadha dhash jabagada dhash khafa chatha tha chatha ta kapai shashar shar hal there we have recited it uh in different place 
and this is uh, even a systematic way of remembering this consonant classes consonant letters and uh, if we recognize these letters and we can um, go to the next uh, chapter okay please I rob it and I write some letters sorry some words so that I can explain you uh, how they are composed and the letters uh, are the basics very simple ones to write the letters yes and then we write next we write these words let us let me start mm. according to the uh, vowel the first of vowel is ah if we uh, say if we say any word starting with a ah, this is let us say a ah, shwaha i've told you last time you know and in this letter in this word there are letters r a ah, one is a ah, and next is sha stop is there and then next is wa stop is there and a ah, there is a ah. and with this when we write it uh, together then this ashwa is made also comes and then next the longer one of ah so let me not do that way and then after ah there is e so anyway there is e this is shorter one and with this e there is let us say one letter ikshuhu ikshuhu meaning ikshuhu is one letter and one word and with this uh, if we uh, decipher if we uh, decipher the letters in this word then we come to know come to recognize this e k and sha and u ikshu ikshu there is one visarga this is characteristic of sanskrit u a e u a e then next comes u let us write one one word start is starting with u this is let us say udakam uda kam o is decipher let us decipher this u is the initial one the starting letter then the is made up of this stop over there and a ah. and then ka stop over there and a ah. udaka and the next comes 
Mm. There is meaning this stop means there is no any vowel sounds. Along with this, uh, okay, there is the, ka, and ma are consonant sounds. And the next is re. Let us say re. This re shaha. Let us say rikshaha. Let us say this is riga. Even easier. Rig, rig. Even easier. This is a uh, Veda, this is the um, first Veda in Sanskrit, Vangmaya in Hinduism. This is the first Veda, and this is like Ri and G. There is no other letters over there. Ri in itself is vowel sound and Ga. And the next comes Lri. With Lri, let us say Lri Ka Raha. And Lri Ka Raha meaning um, the zigzag posture, and there are this is initial letter Lri, Ka, A, Ra, then A. So Lri, Ka, A. This two makes this Ka and Ra and A makes Raha. Yes. And then Lri. This is Lri. And the next is, next vowel sound is, these are the shorter vowels, E, U, R, L, R, A, E, U, R, L, R. These five are shorter vowel. And the next, right, uh, longer vowels are A. Is a daha, let us say this is a daha. A daha meaning sheep, and there are uh, a is initial letter, this is vowel, and da is consonant, and then there is one vowel letter at the side of each consonants and there is one stop a daha the next comes a o sometimes we may say i but in sanskrit o comes o uh, comes after a and then let us say this is O Sha Dham O Shadam and sometimes we say O Shadam O Shadam and O Shadam are synonymous to each other and the initial letter is O next is Sha this is then Sha after each vowel consonant, there is one vowel. The vowel may be longer, shorter, and there is shorter one. Usha dha. There is a at the side of dha, and then ma is without any vowel. So this is stop over there. And this makes O Sha Dham. This then I. 
I is the next vowel, eighth vowel. I draha mm, and draha meaning half Indra. The god is sorry, the god, the king of the god, and this is like. I and na is half. Look, na is half, and then the the next is ra ra is at the lower of the, and this is there is next is ah. Yes. In draha. This is the eighth letter and ninth is au. Au is like this. And au with this au. Let us say au pani sha. Dika. Let us say this is one longer word. Aupanishadika. Let us say this is Aupanishadik. And if we decipher this, it will like Au Pa A. Look, this is Au pa is made by these two. One vowel, another consonant, pa. And then na i. Here this is na i. Ni. And na and i makes this ni, this shorter one. Okay. And then next is da and e. This is the da and e. The da and e gives this the and then ka and Oh, there is Visharga, we say this, this two circle by the side of each letter is Visharga. And look, there are, in this word, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine letters are there in this word, Upanishadi Kaha. And this way we uh, completed the general line vowel sounds and so there is the power is off is it so okay and these are the nine vowel sounds, and we try to write each. Uh, we try to write one word each, and so uh, we will stop there. And in next class, we will try to uh, do some uh, consonant writing each words of the consonants letters and letters. Uh, for today, we will stop there and uh, just this is uh, Sanskrit second session and uh, next class, next session will be, uh, if possible, we will manage to 
do soon. Um, so we will stop here. Om Namaha. Om Vacha Lam Pangum Lam Khayati Girin Yat Kripa Tamaham Vandi Paramananda Madhavam Om Namaha. Dhanivada.